Hey guys, so today we have an, two actually unboxing. Um, let's do this one first, the Enchanted Blossom. This is by Carla Morrow. Um, this is the Oracle card, 44 Oracle cards with the guidebook. It says it's palm-sized dragon with butterfly winds. A light on a bouquet of wisdom in this charming oracle deck. Uh, I like the fact that it has um, eight of the actual oracle in the back. Sorry. Let me just open it up. I also got this in the mail. This I ordered maybe half a month ago. This is the Smith Wicked. I'm quite excited. I had my right away for a while and it's kind of really, really used. So I'm excited to start with the new deck. Uh, we just have the price and the, the, the barcode over there. So it's really nice and sturdy box. I, I like it. It's beautiful. It's got these butterfly, but dragon. Did she say it's dragonfly? Dragon with butterfly wings. Let me put this on the side. Okay. A piece of paper. Okay. And the booklet. Um, that's fine. It's beautiful. Nice. I like how the book feels. Um, so the inside, this is by Blue Angel Publishing. Enchanted Blossom Empowerment Oracle. Ooh, look at that. Um, it's all black and white though. The book, it's in black and white and we have the card meaning by alphabetical order. Chakra alignment spread. So it contains the bread spread suggestion. Single card, three card, chakra alignment, one, two, three, four, seven cards for deeper empowerment and journaling. Language of the flowers. I love it. And it's got introduction how to use the deck. And then it goes into the meaning of each card, for example, this one, abundance. Flower, the butterfly, the name of them. What positive do I experience abundantly? This card reminder that you have abundance in your life. Look beyond material possession and money, include everything that makes your soul feel full. You have a multitude of friends and loved ones or wealth of little joy that you experience every day. Take this moment to acknowledge and thank the universe for all the bounty in your life. Show gratitude for your current abundances and be ready to accept new ones. Know that you walk through every day full in heart, spirit, and in life. That's beautiful. So that just goes on. It's 44 cards in here. Tranquility, thoughtfulness, strength, spirituality. I like that. They have some of the keywords that are truth, wisdom, uh, not necessarily popular in many other oracles. Passion, grace, that's beautiful. So let's open this baby up. We start with abundance. The back of the card look like this, enchanted blossom. So you would know um, because it has word that it's reverse. Um, I'm not sure the booklet suggests reverse meanings for oracles. It's a little bit different than tarot. Um, wow, these are so beautiful. Okay, let's do a walkthrough. Oh. Action. Just hold it like this. Would it be easier? Let 
ambition. Oh, I like that contrast. Contrast of the color, the butterfly and the flower. That's beautiful. Appreciation. Sunflower. Aspiration. Mmm. Beauty. Truly. This is beautiful. Yellow and purple. I don't know if you guys feel that, but I always felt like these two go great together. These two color, purple and yellow. Um, they're not exactly contrast, I think, but they're just a beautiful combination. Also purple and white. Beginnings. Bravery. Oak leaves. Oh, look at this. Wow. This is so abundant. Look at the flower. The detail on there. Confidence. Wow. Courage. Um, I originally saw this deck on another video, Dignity, a reading that I watch, and um, she used this as one of the oracle decks that she used for the reading over there, it was a pick a card, and I was like, wow, what is this? And then I start doing more research, dreams, this is beautiful, royal fern. Um, saw some unboxing videos and uh, decided to get it. And this is such a nice purchase, I have to say. Elegance with Lily. Endurance. That's better. Faith. Passion flower. Friendship. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Generosity. Honeysuckle. <laughs> Grace. Yellow jasmine. Gratitude. Ooh. Bluebell. It's like hanging off the dragon. Happiness. This heart. Heart and solar plexus, chakra color, hope, innocence, beautiful, daisy, the all seeing color, sorry, the all seeing flower, inspiration, mm, something anew, joy. Very abundant. Love. Lily. Oh, sorry, lilac. I was watching through the screen. Love and lilac. It's very romantic. Luck. Bells of Ireland. Nice. Magnificence. Memory, forget me not. Beautiful. The cars are really nice quality, nice um, thickness. It's got a nice touch to it as well. Passion. Mm. Patience. Peace. Persistence. Pride. I like it. Prosperity. Protection. Eucalyptus. Details. Serenity. Lavender. 
sincerity. Ooh, this is beautiful. Spirituality, cherry blossom. Look at that. That is unbelievable. Can you guys see the details? And the background kind of has this um, freckle pattern that seems like um, retro kind of feeling. Strength. Thoughtfulness. Nice. Tranquility. Truth. Wisdom. And that is the last card. So the card is, I would say the card stop. I like it. It's a very nice quality and flexible bendiness to the card. This is what 44 cards, the thickness of it. Um, it's uh, on the longer side. I wouldn't say it's a little bit skinnier, but higher, taller than the regular oracles. Um, it's very smooth. My experience shuffles really nicely. So let's try. Beautiful. It's very nice. It's definitely paper card feeling to it. Now, like some of the cards feel more plasticky. I like the feeling of these cards very much. It's very smooth. It's got this, I don't know if it's laminated. I don't, it doesn't feel like it. If it is, it's not, this is matte. It's not shiny. So it won't reflect the lights. Um, if you use harsh light when you do recording, I like that very much. It's a little bit on the longer side for me to shuffle, um, but it's not, well, it's doable. You could shuffle sideways, I guess. I'm not very, I don't want it to pop out. We have persistence at the bottom. Let's see. Generosity, honeysuckle, and white admiral. This is the card that I wanted to pop uh, when I was shuffling. Let's check. How can I be more generous with myself and others? What do I have to offer? With its sweet nectar reminding us of summer gone by, honeysuckle is mostly native in China. More than half of the species cultivated there. Carrying honeysuckle is thought to lift one's spirit and encourage generosity. In the, A Midsummer Night's Dream, Shakespeare writes, sleep thou and I will wind thee in my arms fairies be gone and be all ways away so doth the woodbine the sweet honeysuckle gently untwist live generously and help others can give you a sense of purpose and lead to a longer healthier life be giving with yourself first find little things Sorry, that will lift not only your mood but your soul. This card may be making an appearance because you've been so wrapped up in the day to day grind that you have forgotten to take care of yourself. Commit to doing something that makes you happy every day. This is not about indulging every whim, but doing a few small things that make you feel good without taking anything from others. Once you're giving yourself joy, you can begin sharing it with others. Be altruistic with your money, your position, or your time. The more you give, the more you have to give. How can I be more generous with myself and others? What do I have to offer? That's beautiful. So let that be the card of the day or this video. Um, I do find that actually quite befitting to me at the moment. It is, um, this, this is being the very first video that I make. Um, is my way of sharing my time, what I can share, 
with the with others with the rest so and i hope that um, message suits well with you as well so that was my very brief walkthrough and unboxing of the enchanted blossom oracle cards i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you soon